any product that you see advertised, I shot, shot once in a while, and a lot of them were fake, like a lot of Campbell's soups. You always had a dietitian, or not a dietitian, but a food expert on food commercials. Well, we're ready to shoot. Now she's there with a big ladle and all the vegetables are sunk. And she stirs it up quick and says, the minute I pull this paddle out, start the camera, which we did. Beer, before it was not allowed. We had a diamond ring. You scratched the bottom of the glass, you had a heck of a head of beer. So it causes it to foam. Yeah. Uh, turkeys. You know, it comes Thanksgiving. They had a browning liquid. The cookies, the turkeys are always raw, even what you see today. They're raw. They're, they're painted and then put glycerin put on them to shine and make them look like, like they just come out of the oven. Now, a lot of that's been stopped. I remember the days I shot commercials. Guy takes a shave. He's very clean shaven. It's whipped cream. It's not shaving cream. He's already shaven. I mean, he's clean as a whistle. Then they put whipped cream on him and pull the razor down. Well, what are you going to get? You're going to get a clean... That was stopped. I mean, a lot of the stuff has been stopped. It was so fake. You also shot uh, some IBM commercials, correct? Yeah, now the IBM commercials, funny thing, Billy Scudder, he's a single gentleman. He was Charlie Chaplin. He roamed the streets of San Francisco playing Charlie Chaplin for years learned every eccentricity and movement of Charlie Chaplin. He was awfully good. He did commercials for us at IBM. Then he'd hop the big uh, big British airplane and fly to London the same day, do commercials there, and then go to Germany and do commercials. He went all over the world doing commercials in one hop after another. I got to know him real well. But anyway, he played... Charlie Chaplin. And then a lot of the old timers that were extra people, you know, in the commercials come from television. I knew a lot, I knew most of them. The the uh, skaters on what do you call this roller roller derby? Dozens of those were in commercials. I know them all because I've shot shot all that stuff in television. And we'd get together and well, we had a human day. Now those commercials would take two to three days to shoot. Each commercial, they weren't quickies like they do today. Well, you started off in the morning and you'd work 16, 18 hours. That's when I was making 800 bucks a day. Now I quit making pictures. I made about 12, 14 full-length features when I quit and went to commercials. You got paid better and you only had to work a day or two or three. At 800 bucks a day, you're making 2,400 hours a week for three days. Then the wife got very sick, bedridden, with emphysema. And Uncle Sam, I'd get a $2,400 check and go to the bank, and I come out with 750 bucks. The rest of it is stuff the studio took out, and state taxes, federal taxes, Social Security. I, I'd lose three quarters of the check. Well, I'm not gonna work 16 hours a day for 750 bucks. So I quit, take care of the wife, and retire. 